Hello everyone and welcome to the English Teacher's Guide to GCSE English Literature Poetry and today we're focusing on everything you need to know to achieve perfect marks in regards to Catherine by Gillian Clark. Here is the poem. I'm not going to read it out to you because you should already have completed your notes. You should already understand this poem inside out. I'm here just to make sure you've got everything you need to achieve perfect marks. So the basic meaning. The poem explores the relationship between the mother and her daughter, which is fairly obvious. The work explores the confrontation of childbirth and their relationship, which again kind of goes against the idea you'd expect of a mother in regards to childbirth and their child. And this idea of their relationship being confrontational and rather negative from at least the mother's perspective continues as Catherine uh, ages and wishes to skate outside. Form. Using the first person monologue creates a biased impression of the relationship. We only have the mother's perspective. It's not clear how the child necessarily feels, even when the child is described as being defiant. Is that true or is that just from the mother's perspective? The use of the monologue can also highlight the mother's need to control that she will not allow the child to have a voice in this poem. The fact that the title is also Katrin, which is the name of the daughter, suggests that it's not just the subject of the poem, but perhaps Katrin is the main focus in the mother's life. In terms of structure, the two stanzas represent the two figures, the mother and her daughter. The split can also highlight the split between the two of them. The use of enjoyment throughout this poem helps to create a conversational voice, but it can also help to create a sense of impatience and anger due to the fact that the meter is sped up. The poem also begins retrospectively, looking at the birth. The stanza makes it clear that their initial interaction was a confrontational one, so the fact that it starts confrontational then establishes their relationship to be indeed in that way, which we then see played out in the present tense in stanza 2. To focus on one particular enjambment, to become the force that's representing when a new line starts, separate, the enjambment here breaks the sentence, emphasising their desire to separate in their relationship, or then their wish to become separate. Fine, let's look at the language, some points of analysis here for you. So referring to Catherine as child in the opening line creates a stern tone which instantly helps to establish a sense of confrontation. This fierce confrontation is used to refer to birth and as I mentioned earlier, birth is supposedly seen as a miraculous, wonderful event in which the parents are eternally grateful for having a wonderful child. But not in this case. So this highlights the view the mother has of Catherine and again, fierce confrontation can also create kind of a violent, almost animalistic tone. The tight red rope of love we fought over is a reference obviously to the umbilical cord, but once again the tone is violent and negative, which is created through the idea of forced and tight. Tight also suggests the mother feels trapped and claustrophobic, therefore it gives this idea that there is no escape. To be ourselves, separate and two, this is also structure because of the repetition of this idea, but it also reinforces a desire, from the mother at least, to be individuals. Later in the poem, the metaphor glass tank is used to create, a, to create a sense of feeling contained, like a fish in a bowl, but also a sense of being watched by others. It's as if the, it's, it is as if the mother feels judged in some way, or that the mother's world now feels much smaller due to the fact that she's limiting her options. Finally, love and conflict. This oxymoron highlights the conflict the mother feels. She loves her child, but at the same time feels negatively about their relationship. Thank you very much. That's everything you need to know. Please refer back to the video, update your notes, and feel free to start thinking about which poems you can compare this to. Well done, and keep revising.